Alrighty then. What is up? Welcome back to Lumos. Now, we got big stuff happening. This video is gonna be pretty unhinged because I'm having coffee and I'm pretty excited because Wizards Unite could arrive tomorrow or as early as next week. Now, I've got a lot of evidence for this theory, so uh, let's just dive right into it, shall we? Alright, here we go. First evidence that Wizards Unite is coming very, very soon is because Niantic dropped three trailers in three consecutive days. Great. So the other day we got the Monster Book of Monsters trailer and then after that the trailer for the Hippogriff and then after that, that was yesterday, it was the trailer for Fluffy, the, the three-headed dog, which means they're now out of teaser trailers and uh what's next what could we get next i don't know but it probably means something right because they dropped it consecutively and that has not happened before the weird thing about all of this is that on their website in the harry potter wizards unite.com in the sos task 4 page we see that the threat level clock it hasn't changed it's still at the danger level and yeah it hasn't changed at all which is very weird because we still got like three levels to go but why won't you move but yeah the, the trailer things those are pretty weak evidences but i've got two more and they're pretty big so first up we've got ee -E. don't know what ee -E is me too but i gonna tell you this is it so E is a telecom service in the United Kingdom and they just announced their 5G network service. And get this, they have a partnership with Niantic, specifically Harry Potter Wizards Unite. So check it out here in this article. So they have cutting edge partnerships, says it right here. And then in this part, you can see very clearly experience Harry Potter Wizards Unite with EE. Here we go, blah 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 blah. As part of the partnership, EE customers will have the chance to experience exclusive Harry Potter Wizards Unite content. So basically, they would get sponsored inns and fortresses. That's great! And the most curious thing about this article is it has a launch date. You can see here, UK's first 5G service to launch on the 30th of May. Now, remember that date because it is very important. This thing, this, this 5G service, it's pretty set to go and it would be great if on their launch date, Harry Potter Wizards Unite is already out for everyone. Now, let's get the most juicy evidence and we can actually find it here right here in wizards unite if you check this icon right here the daily tasks and if you go to events you can see there is an upcoming event it's called brilliant event fantastic flora and fauna and it starts in six days and 18 hours there is a confirmed event with a countdown right inside the game. Would everyone experience this event? Or is it just for beta players? Maybe it's a thank you beta players for beta testing this game. Or is it an actual event for everybody? Because it would be really, really weird if there is an event and only the beta players are going to get to 
to experience the event. Now, here, this is the most interesting part. It says here, it starts in 6 days and 18 hours. Do you know what date it would be when this event starts? May 30. That's it. The same day that EE is launching their 5G network service. So it makes sense that the most concrete release date that we have right now is May 30th. Now, we could probably get it even sooner than that because it would be weird if there was already an event going on when it launches globally. People need to actually play the game first, acclimate themselves into the game, let them know the ins and outs first before the game launches. It would be great if there is an event that's going on when you sign up, but it would also be weird. So we could be getting it tomorrow because in the UK and the US, it, it's like a uh, three-day holiday event for them. In the weekend, I'm not sure what's happening, but I know that they have a three-day holiday this weekend. So that's probably the best time for them to launch Wizards Unite. Right now, it's 10.36 a.m. here in the Philippines, and Niantic usually makes an announcement at 11 p.m. on the dot they could probably announce something tonight. So keep a lookout for that. And I'm pretty sure, I'm like 80% sure that Wizards Unite would have a big launch tomorrow. Or if not, it's going to launch on May 30, the same day that EE is going to launch their 5G network service. Am I crazy? Am I reading too much into this? Or am I onto something? I don't know. But I'm really excited. All I know is that something pretty big is gonna happen very soon. It could be tomorrow or it could be on May 30. But other than that, we can only hope but it is coming. So get ready, ready your wands, I guess, and just keep a lookout. Maybe follow me on Twitter because <laughs> I tweet a lot, apparently. And yeah, I guess that's it. These are all the major evidences. This could not be, all of this, all of these evidence could not be for nothing, but yeah. We'll see. Maybe Niantic would do something weird. They're, they're, they're a pretty weird company in terms of releases and updates. But what can we do? <laughs> anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoy this. I hope I have informed you. And I do hope that we get Wizards Unite soon. That's been it. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye. What was that? <laughs>